In only two days, you can move your career further, faster with the Harvard DCE Professional and Executive Development Program. Advance your leadership skills, craft smarter business strategies, build your network, and move your career in the right direction. You'll earn a certificate of completion, add Harvard to your CV, and become the leader you want to be. Our intensive programs are designed to fit into your busy schedule. Attend online or on the Harvard campus. Search Harvard Professional and Executive Development to learn more. This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. The Waco History Podcast is sponsored by Brotherwell Brewery on Historic Bridge Street in Waco. Welcome to the Waco History Podcast. We're going to air for you uh, over the next few months a, a special series of Waco History Living Stories. Uh, these were segments that were originally aired on KWBU here in Waco. Uh, they were produced by the Institute for Oral History editor, Michelle Holland, and narrated by two fabulous narrators, uh, Louis Mazze and Kim Patterson. And so these highlight oral histories from the collection of the Institute for Oral History at Baylor University, which I direct, which has been around since 1970 and has over a thousand interviews related to Waco and McLennan County history. And we're happy to highlight those here. This segment of Living Stories gets into the history of the Alico Building. Uh, now the home of Rogue Media Network on the 21st floor. In August 1910, on the corner of 5th and Austin in downtown Waco, construction began on a state-of-the-art steel frame office building. Founders and board members of the newly formed Amicable Life Insurance Company had originally planned a structure with eight stories, but that number soon rose to 17 and then 22. Construction on the building, known as the Alico Building, lasted a year and was the talk of the town with crowds of onlookers common. Lee Lockwood remembers being in those crowds. They would carry those big steel beams clear up to the top of that building and we'd just stand there with the mouth open. Mary Sendone recalls the town's attitude toward the structure. My dad said, that's crazy. What are you going to do, put up one skyscraper in this little town? And everybody made fun of it right at first because it was so tall. And when Will Rogers came to Waco and spoke at the auditorium, the old auditorium, he said that Waco was a tall skyscraper surrounded by Baptist church. (laughs) And I think somebody else mentioned that it was a lonely spire surrounded by Baptists. Of course, the Baptists always got the brunt of the jokes. But my dad finally, they finally uh, realized that a Waco did need some growth. And, you know, they began to build other buildings, some six-story buildings, and they thought it was pretty good. Then they began to be proud of it. And the fact that it withheld the tornado was another thing. They thought, well, that was a good contractor. He knew, he knew what he was doing. During that devastating storm on May 11, 1953, Victor Newman was in his office on the fourth floor of the Alico building with business partner Floyd Casey. Newman describes their experience. Well, I looked up and all the wind was blowing and it was getting bad. But I had been in a storm, but I had never been in a storm like that. And Mr. Casey and I, he was there and we were sitting there and looking. I said, look, Mr. Casey, and a a telephone pole come down the street. It wasn't turning over or anything with all the wires hanging on it. And it was just floating just about right by our office, just going down and when Mr. Casey saw that, he said, Vic said, we have a tornado. And so I said, well, what are we going to do? He says, I'm going to get under my desk. And I said, well, I believe I'll get under mine. And so we did. And we could hear the, all the noises upstairs. I thought that the building had broken in two. People running down the stairs screaming and this, that, and the other. But uh, when we, it was over, well, you know, that was plastered walls and, and uh, things. But when it was over... It was no cracks in there, but it was just little sand plaster all over the top of her desk. In other words, it was, was shaking that much. And they said up above, uh, that up on the top floors, it was swaying enough that the desk was going from one side of the office to the other. The building was one of the few downtown to survive the tornado. 
Portions of its facade were altered in the 1960s, and today the Alico Building continues to tower over downtown Waco and serves as the home office for American Amicable Life Insurance Company of Texas and its corporate family, in addition to offering rental office space. It's also a comforting landmark to locals, its neon lights visible for many miles at night. Thanks for listening to the Waco History Podcast. Like what you heard? Subscribe, rate, and review our show on iTunes so we can reach more listeners. You can find show notes and info on every episode at wacohistorypodcast.com and more info on Waco's past at wacohistory.org. Our theme music, used with permission, is Cross the Brazos at Waco, performed by the late Billy Walker. For more info on Billy's music, go to billywalker.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.